Hi and welcome to the Double Tree by Hilton Southampton. I'm Lorna, I'm the events manager. I look after all the weddings from the booking stage all the way through to the day of the wedding. And I'm Jake, I'm the food and beverage manager here and I look after you from your day onwards all the way through. Should we go have a look? Yep, we'll just <laughs> spin you around. We've just got to put our masks on as we walk through the public areas. <laughs> so here we go, this is our lobby area. And as you can see, the red carpet's ready to go. We might be a bit muffled, actually. If you can't hear us, just give us a shout and we'll shout for you. <laughs> so the red carpet is a great signal for your guests as, you start entering, as they start entering through the hotel to just tell them where they're going for your special day. Where the carpet changes, this then becomes your space. So if you were planning on having your ceremony at the hotel, this is our Solent suite. The first part of the couple goes in, meets the registrar. Then they'll go into the main room with all of your guests. And then the second person comes in so they can't actually be seen. And don't worry, I lock all the doors so they can't run out. Or unless you need a wee and you're three, you're not allowed to do anything. <laughs> so doors stay closed. And here we have the wonderful venue. This is our library suite. And this is actually where everything happens. And, well, I think it's lovely, don't you, Lorna? Stunning. Actually, so this is dressed for a wedding breakfast, but this is also where you have your ceremony, which is about a half an hour window. Should we walk down the aisle? We the should. fake aisle. <laughs> <laughs> so, da, 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 da. not that you're allowed to have music here, actually, are you? No. <laughs> <laughs> so I won't sing that anymore. <laughs> but you would meet your other half at the registrar's table, which if you can try and picture it in front of this beautiful fireplace. And then after half an hour, it's then time to leave the room and let us turn it around into this beautiful space. So we take about an hour and a half to be able to get everything done um, to, well, to make sure that it's exactly as you like it for it to be in your heads pictured. So we book weddings based on the fact that it's your day, whatever you want, we can do for you, as long as it doesn't break health and safety. Other than that, we can just go ahead with it. We've gone for quite a simple decorations today. The fish bowls, which are an awful lot bigger than you would expect them to be. They're pretty big. Like, I mean, this is an A5 a bit of paper, well, card for menus, but they're, they're huge. <laughs> so... So whatever you want to do with it, fill it. <laughs> <laughs> so fish bowls, we can loan them to you. You can put whatever you want to, decorate them however you would like. We also have candelabras, which do look really stunning, add some height to the room as well. Great top tip, actually. That's whatever you do with your centerpiece, because you don't have to use the two things that we have at the moment, um, but, you either want something really low or something really thin and tall. So you can see, well, so your guests can see each other from the other side of the table. And not be talking into the decorations. <laughs> yeah, a tree trunk, for example. <laughs> so two of our packages actually come with chair covers included, and then one of them doesn't. So we've been very lucky that Dressed Events has provided the decorations for the room today. So the chair covers, you've got the option of either the white chair covers with sashes, stunning bows on the back of them as well or what you can do is you can change for the shivari chairs which i think are really pretty actually but in, with the package it's not actually i'm sorry dress event <laughs> <laughs> with the package it's the chair only so if you like the look of the sashes you, you can, can add that in you can add that in you can talk about that once, once you're in your planning process. They have been very nice. They've also done the top table for us with the star skirt. Also got the star cloth backdrop. And they do the love sign as well. They are an added extra, but it's brilliant. You can go down, you can meet them, you can chat, talk about sash colours that you want, and then they can package it all together for you. And this isn't all that Dress Defence can offer as well, but... They'll be able to tell you everything. But dress events are fantastic. They're the reason we use them. But another supplier that I like to, I'd like to just shout out to is actually Lydia Smith Cakes. Which if we walk over towards our cake, 
Lydia's designed this cake for us, especially for today. And I just thought how beautiful it is. And obviously once you've spoken to Lydia about what it is that you like to do for your cakes, then yeah, I mean, she's an amazing. Artist. <laughs> Stunning. We've got a whole heap of suppliers that we'd love to introduce you to. And just because we introduce you to our suppliers, it does not mean to say that you have to use them as well. If you have a DJ, for example, that you like to use, you're welcome to use them too. It's just a list, a, there's a few things that we need from them before your special day with us. Then once you've actually had your sit down meal, we can turn the room around for the evening while you're out meeting your evening guests. We would take the top table away, maybe move the tables around. There would be a black and white dance floor that goes down. We usually recommend in front of the fireplace. You've got the backdrop again. And then normally the DJ would set up where the love signs are. But as we've said before, it's your day. So wherever you want to put something in the room, you can do it. While we're on the subject of top table, actually, some couples don't like necessarily to have the tradition of a long top table. We've set our top table for the traditional eight, but some couples like to have just the two of you sat down, which also works really wonderfully in front of our fireplace. Other couples also hate the idea of a top table at all because while your special day is all about you both, doesn't mean to say you want everyone staring at you for the duration of your meal as well. So the reason we've gone for um, the shivari chairs in the middle here is because this is another idea of a top table. You've got a uniform look with the remaining four tables and then you've got something slightly different going on in the centre of the room. So you can still have a top table and still have be a part of the groups, so to speak. Just break tradition. Yeah, break that. <laughs> break that mould. <laughs> so we've gone a bit about face for the day, but also once you've had your wedding ceremony, you've then got the option of having arrival drinks. Yeah, so while you're having canapes as well, um, which I think is a great idea. Distraction, I think, is the key to any wedding <laughs> while anyone's waiting for their food. <laughs> and so arrival drinks is a great idea. And this table, I like to do it like this. It doesn't mean to say that's how we have to do it. So whatever you want to do, we can do it. Um, and while you're having your canapes, it's nice to have a little bit of background music out, out here in our bar area, which is exclusively for you and your guests. Thinking of music. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Go on. <laughs> we would, when you actually have your ceremony, we would recommend you have a playlist of music for while your guests are waiting, just in case you're delayed. Then you'd also have a track for walking down the aisle. Sign in the register, probably need two to yeah, three two tracks. To three tracks. And then another track for walking out. The next top tip we've got for you is if you do a long enough playlist, the waiting music, you can actually play that while you're having the meal. And then we have just had a note saying that they love the bar with the arrival drinks. This is your own private bar. You have this until half past midnight. Keep all your guests in one place. You're not going to lose them. And we've decorated it very simply, but that doesn't mean to say that you, you have to do the same. If you'd like to use some bunting or even we've got a recess just above, which you can just see above us, you could fill this space with balloons or something like that. If there was something you want to do, providing we can do it, then we'd love to. We have in the past, some uh, wedding couple provided us with fairy lights, smiled very sweetly at our ma maintenance manager <laughs> and he hung them all throughout the recess for them. Yeah, I mean, it's just, it's a really nice neutral space to be able to do whatever you like here. So the next bit, we seem to keep going to food, <laughs> is evening buffet. <laughs> we know each other well. <laughs> So this is our executive boardroom, and this is actually where we would serve your buffet in the evening. Nine times out of ten, we would put a U-shape of tables around the edge so people can flow quite easily around the room. And then um, you can decorate it with photos. You can make it match the room. You only really have the buffet out for about two hours, but it's nice. You're doing your first dance. We'll put the food out so everything is ready to go. There's no disruption of the day. Yeah, so an, another couple, which I think was a fab idea, have actually made a, a slideshow before of, of photos of themselves, of how the engagement happened. So this, where this screen is, we've actually had a video set up 
um, and a TV in place because it's easier to distract your guests with some screen work. <laughs> um, I'm not good at cameras. <laughs> Thanks, Lorna. But <laughs> your guests, while they're fighting over the salad forks, <laughs> they can then see how the engagement happened. Uh, well, a slideshow of your, of your guests as well, or maybe uh, baby photos, uh, anything. Then we have had, again, other weddings we've done. We've removed the credenza. They've put together their own kind of sweet cart. And that has been absolutely brilliant. You can just pick throughout the evening. Actually, that's a good point. This table doesn't have to move by the end of the arrival drink section as well. Um, this could also be a sweet table as well if you wanted to. And use some different lay levels, layers. And we can, well, it's just as flexible as you want us to be, to be honest. And did you have your unused space? I haven't, we haven't spoken about probably my favourite part. <laughs> While it's covered in so sofas at the moment. <laughs> Covid this, restrictions. Yeah, this is a great space to use for something like a photo booth or if there's going to be a lot of children here, use it as an activity centre. We've had um, other couples have used mats all along the floor and then there's been uh, toy cars, the colouring books, sticker books. I mean, I got covered in stickers one night. <laughs> But <laughs> that's all part of the fun of it. So it's again, it's a nice little activity centre for the children because all these doors also open for you as well. So everyone can still keep an eye out while the space is still exclusively for the children if you're having children at your special day. And I would actually say if we're popping back into the room, one of the questions I get asked quite often is for the first dance, do you allow confetti? So we actually do. And as long as... Well, <laughs> as long as it's not sort of cannons that cause smoke, my response is usually, I'm not hoovering it up. No, you're so not. So <laughs> I don't mind whatever you do. No, it's your special day. So, I mean, lots of people have used dried flowers. Um, I'm, I'm eco-friendly, but, you know, you do what you guys want to do. If you've got foil, foil cannons that you wanted to use, go, go nuts in here. It's an amazing photo opportunity. Um, actually, sparklers are as well. And we're also allowed to have sparklers in our garden area. Yeah, talking of garden area, we have got some space outside. It's absolutely amazing for photos. So prime opportunity when we're turning the room around, you can go and have your photos taken, go down to the garden area. It's quite easy to get to. Obviously, it's a little bit overgrown at the moment, but once we've had the gardeners in, it will be stunning again. We've just had a comment. Um, someone's just said, thank you, Laura. Um, it's space for the grannies. So that, <laughs> for anyone that doesn't like music, that's a great idea. Um, so the space that I've just mentioned, close the doors and let, let the, all the elderly sit outside as well if they'd like to. <laughs> thank you, Laura. <laughs> I think you've really tickled him. <laughs> so we've also, when we said about chair covers and the options you had, there are loads, there are so many, so many colours. This is all of them, knowing dress events. Um, they're an amazing, amazing group. So I would just have an appointment with them. Yes. <laughs> see all the colours. I mean, I'm quite partial to this, this one. <laughs> Gucci inspired for me. <laughs> <laughs> the last thing that I would say is probably the thing that we all forget about, but your kind of your guest book table and your gifts table we like to have it as the first thing that's on the left as you walk into the room because it's not the first thing you notice because i mean look at the rest of the room it looks incredible so a top tip that i would say is to once your evening portion has started without your within your day uh, evening sorry um just nominate someone designate someone to collect all your gifts and all your cards to take back to your bedroom um, so then you've got something to open the following day, something to look forward to. <laughs> oh, dressed events are renaming the sash, Gucci inspired. Gucci inspired, thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> I'm not sure how Gucci will feel about my nomination of their name now. <laughs> Another simple thing that we did, which we actually did this by error while we were making a video for the hotel, but we went and bought some roses and just cut them down and put one rose on each napkin, which we felt was really effective. Simple splash of colour to the table, keeps it all sort of neutral and then you can add the other decorations that you'd like. While you're looking at the napkins as well, that's not exactly how we have to have them. So if you have a specific viewpoint that you'd like to have on your table, we can do that as well. Just have to chat, have a chat with Lorna and myself while we're having your appointments. 
And if they're complicated napkins, don't worry, because Jake can take on anything. <laughs> yeah, I'm a bit of an OCD person. <laughs> we both are, so you would be fine. You know, every single detail is written down. We do as many appointments as you would need. Jake would always come to the final appointment, so if he's got any questions, he can also ask you to make sure we've got it all spot on. Another top tip is if you're doing your own table centres, set them up at home, take a photo, and then give us that photo. That way we're going to get it exactly as you imagined. Absolutely. Definitely. So, it's been an absolute pleasure showing you the space that we have here at the Double Tree by Hilton Southampton. And I'd like to toast. Would you like to toast with me, Lorna? Yeah, let's work out how we turn it round. <laughs> Cheers to you. Cheers, and hopefully we'll see you at the hotel soon. Take care. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. <laughs>